Barry says good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Barry. Let's do this. Ready to fight. He brought their gum shield. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Barry. Stand nice and tall. It's gonna be like a one hour work. And that's it. And it's freedom, baby. Gonna touch the ground. Walking forward all the way. And walking back again. Through the few time and then we're gonna hold it. Then we're gonna add a spider and launch to it and then we we'll see what we can we do. When I walk back, I'm just walking my knees out left right, just walking my hips a couple times. So stretch and hold is good, but movement is good too. Feeling the joint. I'm going to add a Spider Man launch to it every time you walk forward. You will launch. And you don't have to do twists yet, but soon we're going to add to it. Whichever leg come forward, that arm going to touch the ground with elbow. So I bring my right leg forward, my right elbow touch the ground. Next time, we're gonna go a spider and launch and hold it. We're gonna make a few twists over and over the same side. So launch, hold, add a turn and twist to it. Reach deep, as deep as you can. And then bend your elbow, touch the ground, opposite finger, opposite, yeah, opposite wrist. And even bring your body, enhance that rotation. Go two, go three, two more. Four, one more, five. Let's take it to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. High plank pose. I'm gonna walk back, walk forward. Launch left, launch right. Jump forward, deep squat, hold it momentarily, and jump back. Here we go. See, we can do that again. Walk back, walk forward. Jump forward deep, hold yourself upright, chest lifting, shoulders away. Beautiful move. If you're admiring yourself, you're doing the right thing. Not the admiring part of it, but what you do.
you move your body, your body will say, you rock and get, damn it. It's a beautiful move. Feel good. Take a high plank pose, please. I'm going to do cobra left all the way to bare feet. So basically, we add a jump to that cobra left to just make the ball circulation move and in a better way. Six more of these. Lift, hold, breathe, and jump. A few more. Fantastic. Sit on the ground, legs open. From here, we're going to go le left, right, center, and then come back up. From here, we're going to take it to Dundal and come back again. Repeat it again one more time. How we're going to build it. If you're watching, just watch carefully. Legs up and Dundal. And go back down again the same way you came. From legs open, left, and right, and down on the ground, there we go. And come back up, legs up, and drop down. You want to turn to down dog the way we did the turning part. <laughs> left, right, both poles, down dog. I want that to be exact. Both toes, turn, done, dog, done, beautiful. And go, we did three, seven more. You can go into it and come out of it from other side too to just balance it up. And done again. Both toes, legs open, left. And right. Fantastic. Five more. Five more. If you had a good breathing to it, the whole thing become yoga. Then you do two for one workout or move. Out. When you're done, that take a down dog, take your time. If you lost the number, you probably seven now. So really, that's the whole thing you need to do for one hour. But we're going to change it. That was 10 probably. Take it down, dog. We're going to hold it a little while, 30 seconds. And breathe.
Keep your right leg up. Come to high plank pose. Knee touch the elbow. Back to down dog again. Go one. Same thing over and over. Two. Three. Four. Keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well, I think you try it first quickly. Give it the arm a little quick rest. Let the blood move again. Then I'm going to take it to the other side. Other leg up. Five plank pose. Knee touch the elbow. And back to down dog again. Over and over nine more times. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We're going to give our arms a little less. So stand up. We're going to do a few squats and then come back to down dog again. And we're going to do belly on one leg while you're in down dog. So do we. The for now just. 20 squats. Go one, two, the slower you go, longer you rest. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your toes straight. Create some ankle mobility, arch lifting. The torque is still there on the other legs. How many do I do? 20. Captain is speaking, keep going. <laughs> that was probably 20. Take it down, dog, again one more time. Keep your right leg off the ground. We're going diving push up. Oh, you said burpee. Well, not yet. Oh, yeah. We didn't. Oh, nice. Go one. You go four left, four right. Two. Three. One more, one more, one more. Four. Beautifully done. Take it to the other leg, please. Go one. Because that would make it even easier. Stay marked. Two. Let's do it. Two more, two more. You can do it. Three. Four. Now we're going to switch leg for burpee. Woo. One leg at burpee. Yeah, when the one get better, be. How about one arm the therapy? That's coming too right after. I'm glad you mentioned it, Barry. Switch leg, please. Four left, four right. Same arms. Two more. Now we're going to do one arm bare feet. One arm bare feet. We're going to do four of those. Two left, I'm two left. I'm changing the camera to you. <laughs> Two left, two right. You can put your leg down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. And then switch arm. Go other arm. Can we do more often this? No. Two. Three. 
back to squad again with this squad is our rest time or not but is recovery time So 20 is a number we're going for. Before we grab weight, we're going to do a couple of warrior three poses, but one side constantly from a standing. Bring your right knee to your chest, reach out for the ceiling. Don't change anything from here. All the way, take it to warrior three and come back up. Keep on breathing. Don't get annoyed. It's balancing pose. You're going to fall. You're going to wiggle. You're going to move. Side please, that was five, I guess. Go one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good. I'm gonna grab a pair of weights for chest press. And then we're going to do rush and twist, and then we're going to do 90 90. Two biceps. So, how do I do that? Chest press, that's exactly what it is. Two, three, four, five. Rush and twist. We're going to come up. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From the other way, biceps, and two. You're going down, coming back up, switching leg. That's two. That's three. Is four. One more. Maybe two more than we are balanced actually. We require ten. We modify the number. Back to chest press again. Let them move fluently from one to the other. You don't have to move your leg, touch the ground, and all of those things. If you don't have it in you yet, you can put one leg down on the ground. Or both legs on the ground, who cares? Then I don't improve. Yeah, yeah, no, repetition itself allow you to improve. Don't get caught up with that part. That would just speeding get up. Then you force yourself and then you taking some risk of getting injured or not, of course, but. We're going to do three more sets of these. We have done two. Russian twist 10. Up 
open your hips nicely when you're coming up. Don't just settle. Open all the way. There's nothing left. You feel your glutes get active, basically. That's where you want to be. I'm doing three each side. Three uh, rotation. One more each side. Be aware of your shoulders. Don't round them. Don't squeeze them. Doing five chest press. Two more sets. Russian twist there. And six out here is good. And this is our last one. Grab water if you need to, get a 20 second rest. We're going to do hollow rocks next. Three hollow rocks, and we're going to roll up a stand up. We're going to lift it all the way to Superman lift. We're going to do two of those, and we're going to jump out to the deepest squat. Arms overhead. Okay, I got everything you said. Lift Superman lift two times one and two. Jumping D. Roll back again. Beautifully done. Going to do 10 of this. Minimize the move you apply from one move, from one pose of the body to the other. So if we do a two or three moves to just jump forward, do it maybe with a two, gradually get rid of that extra move.
Is that as far? Yeah. Nice. Are you breathing? Next, we're gonna do side lunges, side lunges. And then we're gonna add some fancy moves to it, touching toes and opposite side and shoulder press. Hold on to one weight, or both actually, you can grab two weights too if you want. Let's do a couple of side lunges and then see what we got. And a couple more, see. On the next one, we're going to touch our toe and then do a shoulder press, maybe on the opposite side if you have it in you, or clean and shoulder press, or directly to a snatch if you want to go overhead all the way. So, same side over and over for two, for three, hold yourself upright, don't bend. Even when you squat, even when you go down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then, three sides, let's take it to the other side, then other side. Go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven. But we're going to do our workout. It's going to take a long time. It's a lot of work. Just giving you where we're going, what we're going to face. We're going to do 50 thrusts there. 50 thrusts there. 10 push up, 200 skipping. And then next set, we're going to go 40 thrusts there. And then we're going to do 9 push up. And we're going to go down again, 190 skipping. So we go down by 10, and then push up, we go down by one. See how far can we go? And 50 thrust that we started. Grab your weight. If you don't have weight, band is good. Or just your laundry basket is heavy enough, I guess, it's Saturday. You can use that. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, the lower belly, 22, 23, don't lean forward, 25, 26, and seven, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 10 more. 
خوردی ما فورتی فور One to ten push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are not going to modify the next one. Everything we do, we're going to do it all the way, finish it. So if you need to take time to rest and refresh and go again, do that. We're not skipping 200. Turn around. Going down by 10. You are not with me. Going to 40 thrusters now. Nine push ups and 190 skips. Now let's do 40. Just keep the spirit up and just go. The shoulder doesn't work, so just do the avoid the shoulder press part. But if you can just keep your arms up and go down and come back down. So let's see if we can do that part. If your arm cannot move, you can even hold it up constantly. More difficult. I still work on the hip thrust. Remember what you're working on it right now. I'm going to go down to nine push ups. I got ten more. Nice. So nine push up. Keep the quality off.
you down to 30 thrusters. Thirty thrusters. Don't rush it down. And you're going to do eight push ups. Ten more. Eight push ups. Got one more. Then you go into a hundred and eighty skips. Challenge yourself on the push ups. This is a push up set, really, right? And you're going to 20 thrusters. Up your weight if you uh, want to challenge it. Seven push ups, challenge your push ups, strict push ups. Looking good, that's all. And you're going to 170 skips.
Harry Chocolate Chip convention. <laughs> Go down to 10 thrusters. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. Just do it. Okay. Numbers don't match. They don't need to match. Just do it. Ten only. Why is this the hardest round? Maybe it is five million of them. Six push ups. Next time we'll start with a hundred thrusters. Sixty skips times ten. After your push up, Victoria, we're going to do it. We're going to do some yoga. No skipping, Nate. Can skip all day after this. <laughs> oh, you are going to skip, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Join us when you're done. We're going to do a bunch of thunder. Let's go arms up, palm together. Go to your left side and hold it and breathe. Back to your center, go other side, stay there and breathe. back to your center again reach back for the wall behind you keep on breathing keep on breathing breathe deeper back to your center fold forward touch the ground keep your right leg off the mat rise it up as high as you can 
since you are warm, then you don't need to work, focus on the circulation of the blood here. Yeah? Keep your hips as well down to the ground while you're lifting your leg up. Down on the ground. Inhale, loop up. Exhale, fold forward deeper. Other leg up, rise it up. Down on the ground. Inhale, look up again. Exhale, fold forward deeper. See if we can grab the opposite elbows around your calf muscle since you can push the body a little more for a little lower, a bit deeper. Knees get it straighter, rise the sit bones up higher. Toes grabbing the ground. Let go of it, arms on your shin. Extend your right arm forward all the way. Back on your shin, other arm up. Chain, both arms up, down pointing up, biceps in line with your ear, top of your head in line with your tailbone, knees are straight. Hear me, take your right leg back all the way to long lunge and come up all the way to long lunge. There you go. Hold it there for five hours. Bring your back leg knee down on the ground. Bring opposite elbow on your knee, twist it. I can keep my knee off the ground and do this. So go for it if you want to. Back to your center. Sit on your back leg heel all the way. Open side of your rib cage, hinge forward from the hips. If you're folding forward nicely, let's add to this. Keep the elbow tight to the body, to your knee area, and then open the head toward your toes. Let it go forward. Open side of your rib cage. Shoulders are still away. up all the way and come up all the way bring the other leg close to the body bring the back leg forward fold forward deep grab opposite elbows again one more time Hands on your shin, both arms up, launch back with the other leg, arms up nicely, hold yourself straight, load your back leg enough, bring your back leg knee down, bring opposite elbow on your knee, twist it. Back to your center again. 
sit on your back leg here. Up, sit tall and then hinge forward. Grab ball of your foot if you have it, then you grab your toes, elbow tight to your shin, to your knee, and then fold forward. So pull the bone in, stretch the muscles out. Pull the bone in, stretch the muscles out. Lift your chest up, pull yourself toward your toes again, top of your head. Many feeling going on. Forward again. Bring your back leg forward all the way beside the other leg from the Pull forward, grab opposite elbows again. Behind your calf, behind your leg. It's off, off, obstacle on the way. You can just grab it in front of your leg. Open your arms, come up all the way. Find your right leg. Bring it outside of your left leg. And then fall forward, easy as you can get. back up first and then we're going to switch side. If you're going to add twist to it or any other pose you know you can do it both forward. How do I add twist to it? You can put hand on your head and just lift your chest up and nicely done. Some women like to grab the calf muscles, elbow behind the calf muscles, or whatever you can hear. It's using it as a balancing pull. Hands on your hips, move all the way. Like to count, uh, stand up tall again. Arms up, palm together. Fold forward again. Put your hands under your heels. Rise your sit bones up. Straight again. Let go over the king. Stand tall. Bring your right knee to your chest. And then bring your heel on your knee on the other. You have it. Now folding forward again one more time. Again, if you haven't, you can grab the calf muscle to just become very balancing pose. Back up again. Lower this leg. Bring the other leg up knee and folding forward all the way. Push your knee away, open your hips as best as you can and go as low as your body allows you to go. You don't have to touch the ground if you want to do it, but you cannot. You can bend your knee too. Huh? Come back up. Up, arms up, palm together. Now bring your palms to your chest. Lift your heels off the ground. Bring your knees tight, super tight together. Your legs should be a little away from each other. And then the squatting down low.
without putting your heels down, come back up. Let's repeat this again one more time. Heels up, big toes touching, squatting down low. And a thigh reach for each other, not just touching, reaching. Come back up again. That's it for now. Thanks, guys. See you guys whenever you come back.